Today we're going to do a video on how to install our daytime running light kit to fix the LED flicker issue. As you can see, both headlights are flickering. This is the daylight running model, and I want the viewer to know that this bulb is shared with the high beam, so the bulb functions as both high beam and running light. But the high beam works fine. The flickering is only for the running light. So let's turn on the high beam so you can see that it works perfectly. With the high beam on, you can see that there is no flicker. And with the high beam off, there is considerably less light output and the light is flickering. So we're going to fix this, but let me explain why this happens. Alright, so let's do a test to see what is happening. We're unplugging the LED bulb and we're going to test the voltage for the power cable. This is the female socket, which is the power source for the bulb. You can see right now that the meter is oscillating. Now let's see what happens when we turn on the high beam. You can see the meter jump to 15 volts. The maximum input for the LED bulb is 15 volts. So let's switch back to the DRL, the daytime running lights. The meter is pulsing. The current is unstable with the voltage oscillating between 0 and over 5. So let me break down what's happening. Alright, so as we measure, the high beam is on and it's staying at a constant 15 volts. However, when the DRL model is on, the voltage jumps up and down between 15 and 0 volt. The reason this happens is simple. When the high beams are on, there is a constant 15 volts going into the bulb. While the DRL is on, the voltage is jumping up and down between 15 volts and 0. The coil and the halogen bulb take that pulse energy to keep a constant beam of light, which would be somewhere around 7.5 volts. Now the LED is power sensitive, so 15 volts is very bright and 0 volts is completely dark. So you'll see the flickering. So let me explain how we're going to fix this. This is the kit we're going to use, but before we install it, I want to explain how it works. So right now the voltage on the DRL is 15 to 0, 15 to 0. In this kit we have a capacitor. The function of a capacitor is to store power. When, when that pulse of 15 volts goes to it, it stores it for when there isn't any power coming to it. The output is a slow steady current of about 7.5 volts. After the capacitor, we have this component here called the relay. When the power is going to the relay, it closes allowing current to flow through to the headlights. Let me explain how to install this so it works properly. Okay, so the battery is what's going to power the headlights, so we need to attach it to the battery. The connector located with the capacitor plugs into the original headlight socket. The power from that goes to the capacitor to output a steady current to the relay, allowing the relay to let the power from the battery reach the headlights. For the daytime running lights. The current goes to the relay but doesn't go through to the DRL until the relay allows the current to flow through. So let's go ahead and do the installation. So here is the relay kit we're going to install to fix the issue. There are a couple of connectors on the relay kit. Let me give you a brief introduction so that you know what is going where. This is our 12 volt power source that we're going to connect to the battery. This powers the LED bulbs. If the relay is open, then there is no power going to the LEDs. The two connectors here and there are what plug into your LED bulbs. Over here is the male connector that plugs into the headlight power source. This component with the capacitor controls how much current goes to the relay. So when you switch your headlights on, they turn on. This is the power connector from the vehicle. This would usually plug directly into the bulb, but that is different now that we are installing this kit. Right now we're going to unplug the bulb and connect it to the signal source for the daytime running light capacitor. Plug that into the capacitor. Remember it doesn't matter if the pulse voltage or constant, the capacitor regulates how much current goes through. As soon as the coil on the relay is closed and the power can go through from the battery to the bulb, the bulb will stay on. Plug the already installed LED bulb to the connector. Here is the ground wire we're going to mount to the metal part of the chassis. Make sure the location of the ground wire is close enough so that when you go to connect the bulb it will still reach. Unscrew the bolt and insert the ground wire, then reattach the screw. Now the ground is connected to the chassis. Next we're going to connect the passenger side LED to the connector. We're going to unplug the LED bulb from the factory connector and then we're going to plug it into our kit here. 
As long as there is power coming through, the LED will be on. However, we just can't leave the original female power connector. The reason we're doing this is because the other connector is enough power to power the relay. So we're going to tape off this connector with electric tape. Just tuck this cable away. You're going to need it if you want to change your lights back. Next, we're going to connect the other ground wire to the chassis. We found a spot under the cover, so we're going to remove the cover. It's simple to remove these clips. They just push in and pop out. We're going to mount the ground wire here. Loosen the screw, then connect the ground terminal, then reattach the screw. Make sure it's tight. So right now, here the original power connector is plugged to the capacitor. The capacitor outputs constant power to the relay. Closing the circuit. Next, we're going to attach the other positive wire to the battery because this will send the current to the bulbs. So there is 12 volt power going directly to the LEDs from the battery. The relay keeps that energy until it is told to release it by the capacitor that is plugged into your original headlight output connector. Let's go ahead and attach the cable. Unscrew the bolt and attach the wire, then fasten the screw. After that, the installation for the relay kit is complete. All right, we're gonna walk you through one more time. So we have 12 volt power directly from the battery and it goes to the relay. These wires plug directly into your LED bulbs. This is the capacitor and this is the original headlight power source. The power goes to the capacitor and from there to the relay. For a high beam, a full 15 volts of power goes to the capacitor and the capacitor outputs 15 volts, which will keep the relay closed. For the daytime running lights, the power pulses from 15 volts to zero to the capacitor. The capacitor output is 7.5 volts that goes to the relay, which also is enough power to keep the coil closed, allowing the lights to turn on. Make sure that the ground wires are secured to the chassis, and that's how you connect the relay kit. We're going to test it. As you can see, the lights did not turn on. The thing about this kit that you need to pay attention to is that the capacitor is polarity sensitive. So if the lights don't turn on, just flip the connector to reverse the polarity. So disconnect it and flip it, and then reconnect it. As you can see, the lights turn on. Let's switch to high beam. You see the brightness doesn't change. There is no difference in brightness from the daytime running lights to the high beams. This is the only issue with this kit. When taking off the clips, just push them in and they pop off. To put them back on, push the bottom back up and pop them back into place. Once you check that everything is working properly, tidy up with zip ties so that there isn't any wires hanging around. Thank you for watching.